Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a really short video for you and I just wanted to show you how I just recently started organizing my huge geometry node trees with the help of a little add-on. So for those of you who follow my channel uh, regularly, you've noticed that uh, my group input is often colored in a different color. I mostly use this blue color. And then I copy it all over this node tree wherever I need some kind of an input like here. And uh, and this is very useful most of the time, but sometimes, like here, when I, for example, need to go back uh, to a value, for example, this inner frame thickness needs to be clamped because it, it cannot be bigger than the width of the window or something like that. And then uh, I need to clamp it somehow, and everywhere where I use this inner frame thickness value, everywhere in this node, I need to go back in it, clamp it, and uh, especially when you have these like huge, huge node trees, really, really complicated. And so the best thing would be to have just one group input, like I have it, for example, here. So I have only one group input and everything passes on and and I kind of plug it in with the use of these reroutes and all these net of reroutes. But the problem with this is that it's not really readable because uh, when I'm here, how can I know what what kind of things I'm plugging into these sockets? And uh, so I found a way that works for me, and that's renaming the reroutes. So this is how you do it. Probably you already know. So like this reroute, and then you rename it here with. And this works perfect, but the problem is when you have lots and lots of reroutes. So uh, I created this simple add-on that helps you to label these reroutes more easily. So here what happens if you have a reroute like this, and you just press a shortcut, it will copy automatically the name of the socket in between. So no matter where you are, it will just get the last reroute label and it will copy it to the next one and it will also work for multiple reroutes like this see and uh, this add-on also allows you to change the label manually like this with a shortcut or to clear all labels just like this I also added this little option that only works with Node Wrangler and it is an operator from Node Wrangler, but Node Wrangler doesn't allow you to set custom shortcuts, so I kind of added it here and you can uh, change the shortcut if you want. And what this operator does, it extrudes all the sockets from a node, like this. So in the preferences of this add-on, is called no labor you can set these shortcuts automatically rename your label with the y manually rename your label with control y and clear selected node labels shift control y and that extrude sockets into reroutes this is what we did here with control e you can change all of these shortcuts to your likings and i will show you just part of this node how you can see that your node tree becomes more readable or at least for me but it's easier when you know that the thing that's plugged in here it's a random float and stuff like that so uh, that's practically it uh, you can download this add-on from the link in the description and the add-on is not free in itself but its price represents just a small token of your support that helps to keep this channel alive and keeps me motivated to keep working on giving you all the other add-ons that i've already created and the ones that are in store for the future so have a nice day and i'll see you in the next one Bye-bye.